Okay, we're back in the rocks. Good morning, everybody. We are on the trail. So today it's, it's sunny, it's supposed to be sunny most of the day, and I'm uh, not sure how far I'm going today, so we'll see where this ends up. But we're starting at Route 309 and heading north. And I, I just a side note, I was just talking to a guy who had binoculars and he was a bird watcher, and we went through Hawk Mountain yesterday, and there's a Hawk Mountain sanctuary along there. And he said what happens is that the, some of these hawks are migratory and as they pass through they fly along this ridge that we're walking and have been walking for several days maybe a week because the wind patterns come up on that mountain and the hawks can glide through the um through the updraft and makes it easier for them to fly so that they actually fly that ridge for a long way so it's kind of interesting. I learned something today. So anyway, thanks for coming with me. Let's take a walk. So far, so good. But I know it's going to get rocky. Everybody's warned me. So we'll ride this as long as we can. Here we have a cool morning overlook. Exciting. There's a campfire spot right here. That'd be a nice place to spend the night. I think that's Route 309 down there. So we're going through a power line cut. And I, I know they cut through the mountains, but you always get great views. There's flowers, different wildlife. I frequently see rabbits at the power line cuts because there's different vegetation it grows. So kind of like it. I don't know what these pink and yellow flowers are. I've never seen those before, I don't think. But they're kind of cool. New Tripoli. My map says it's a campsite and spring. I'm not gonna walk down there. Okay, we're back in the rocks, I suspected. Well, it's still pretty rocky. I don't know if you can see, but we're out of the boulder field for for now. <laughs> so we'll see if that comes up again. But it is it's such a nice day. I mean, it's just everything's green. You can probably tell from the video. Just in in a period of about ten days, everything went from brown to green. So it's kind of kind of exciting to see spring is here. You can hear the birds. They're excited too. Ah, I think this is what they call knife's edge. So we are literally right on the ridge. We do get another view up here. This is pretty cool. You know, I say, if you're gonna go up something steep, it better have something at the top rewarding than we do. I know we can't catch how steep some of these things are on video. Somebody's coming up behind me. They're not going any faster, which is encouraging. <laughs> well, I made it. And I'm gonna say those painted blazes are not in spots where you wanna walk. I don't know why they're painted there. I'm just going to say, that's not a trail. That's just a pile of rocks. I don't know why the trail insists on going through these rock piles. I don't know why it was designed that way. Okay, that's super interesting. There's a marker for Lehigh County from 1967. 
Now I guarantee you nobody carried that over these rocks, which tells me there's a road that comes up somewhere nearby here. But we're gonna walk on the rocks. Another view. You can kind of see there, I remember that barn down there, the white one with the material roof. So we are working to the left. Okay, after bare rocks, the trail suddenly breaks into what appears to be some kind of a logging road. Clearly has been used for vehicles with four wheels. So hopefully we can ride this off the mountain. Okay, since I'm having an attitude about the rock fields. So we could be walking, that's a rock ledge over there. So we could be walking on the rock ledge, which would be horrible, but we're on this road. There's a, a some kind of forest road going through here. Now, why can't we do that more often? Why do we have to walk on boulder fields so often? And this road is, this logging road is the Appalachian Trail, just so you don't think I'm skipping any steps. This is a mammoth parking lot, and there's one across the street about the same size. So there's the parking area. There's the no parking area. Well, that's a wrap for today. I'm gonna call it kind of early. Did about five miles, and we're at Bake Oven Road. <laughs> There's a parking lot up here. So today, I mean, interesting day. We went through that knife's edge. There are several really cool views. I saw some flowers I'd never seen before. Um, met a guy who met Earl Schaefer four different times and watched his slideshow and talked to him. And uh, Earl, Earl Schaefer is the first person who ever hiked the Appalachian Trail end to end in one season, um, 1948. So on the on the other side, I had another meltdown today about walking through boulder fields, and I'm, I might edit most of that out because it, it's just not fun. But it, 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 there was a part where it probably took me two hours to go a half mile just because you're just walking through boulders, and, it, and I don't get it. So <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks for following me, guys. And remember, where we're going, we don't need roads.